So I've had this half tray canopy set up on the 79 for about 12 months. And in that time, I've been to the Simpson Desert, I've been to Cape York and also Fraser Island. Plus, I use this as a daily driver to carry a lot of stuff in the back of this ute tray. Now, I used Raptor liner in here because it is a really tough protective coating. In fact, it's five times tougher than your traditional automotive paint. Now, if you look really closely, you can see where it's scratched up a little bit. And that's one of the big benefits, I suppose, of using the protective Raptor lining on things like your tray, your bar work, and other things that are gonna take a bit of a hit because first, it's really tough, and secondly, you can touch it up. So I've got an aerosol can here. This is new on the market, and I'll show you how easy it is to touch up the Raptor coating. Now I'm gonna take the tray side off, prep it up, and get right into it. So this is really simple. In your first step, you just wanna mask off anything that you don't wanna get the Raptor coating on. So I've got white paint under here, so I've just used a bit of masking tape to go around the edges. After you've taped the edges, give it a good scuff. The second step is to give it a good clean. So just give it a quick wipe down, and then you're right to paint. Now the first thing you gotta realize is this Raptor in a can is not your standard run-of-the-mill aerosol cans. It's a lot more complicated than that, but not complicated to use, just a lot of technology that's involved in here. It's essentially two-pack in a can. So that basically means there's two parts to this. There's the Raptor liner inside and also a little sack in here of hardener. So first things you wanna do is shake it for about two minutes, which I've done. You wanna open it up. Inside the lid there's instructions. I suggest you read those first. You wanna grab out this little plunger at the bottom. So you're gonna put this plunger on the bottom right here. Now it's gonna take a little bit of effort. It's actually piercing the bag hardener inside the can. I want to use two hands for this, there we go, bang. Now you wanna give it another shake for about two minutes. So after you've shaken it again for another two minutes, what I suggest you do is to go get a bit of paper, a bit of board, something that you can practice on first. That's exactly what I'm gonna do just to make sure you get it right because you wanna spray this at quite a distance and I'll show you what happens if you don't. So one of the main things you gotta realize is if you treat this like a standard aerosol can, it's not gonna be a very nice finish. You've gotta actually put your hand back a long way and treat this like an underbody gun because that's essentially what it is. So, so from a distance, and just nice, look at that, there we go. Now I've got the confidence up, ready to tackle the tray. Would you have a go at that? It practically looks brand new. It's almost too flash for my 79. I'll tell you what, this Raptor in a can really is the stuff that every four-wheel driver should have, whether it's bar work, whether it's fixing up your tray, just for little touch-ups. It's a great thing to keep in your shed. Now, it'll be touched around about 20 minutes, but I'll leave it for about two hours before you start to handle it. So that means I'm gonna go get myself a beer and put a big tick next to job done. How yeah, good is that? If you want to find out more information about this one, make sure you jump on the website at raptorcoatings.com.au.